In this video, we'll learn how to work with Triggers, one of PlumSale Helpdesk's automation tools. Helpdesk uses Triggers to execute one or multiple actions when a ticket is created, modified, or when a new comment is added to it. You can set up and customize Triggers to send email notifications, edit ticket fields, change the comment type, or run a SharePoint workflow. We'll create a trigger that will assign a particular agent to a ticket based on keywords in the ticket title. First, navigate to the Settings page. Then go to the Triggers tab and click New Trigger. Let's take a brief look at the general properties of a trigger. The Active button defines whether Help Desk will run the trigger on a specified event. You can use this option to temporarily disable some triggers. Title is the name to identify the trigger on the list. We'll name our trigger Assignment Sales Ticket. The Trigger Configuration menu has three main sections, the event, the conditions, and the actions to perform. There are three events you can select from. The trigger can run when a new ticket is created, when it is changed, or when a new comment is added to it. We want our trigger to run every time a ticket is created, so we'll select the Ticket Was Created event. The Conditions section allows you to fine-tune the execution of the trigger. The trigger will only execute its actions if all its conditions are true. Let's add a condition that checks if the ticket title contains such keywords as quote or invoice. The conditions use references to fields of the current item, either ticket or comment, by the internal field name. Some of the fields are available in the drop-down list for quick access. As this condition field originally refers to the ticket's title, we'll leave it unchanged. We'll set contains as the operator and quote as the value. This condition will check if the ticket title contains the word quote. We also want our trigger to check if the ticket title contains the word invoice. We'll repeat the same configuration steps for this condition, but instead set invoice as the value. It's possible to combine and group the conditions using logical operators. We want any of the keywords in the group to assign an agent to a ticket, so we'll select the OR operator. We'll also add a condition that will skip the trigger run in case an agent has already been assigned to the ticket. This can be useful if you have other triggers that assign tickets to agents. Our final step is to add the actions to perform if the conditions are met. We'll add an action that will set the assigned to field to the email address of our sales agent. We'll also add an action that will automatically set a sales tag to the ticket. You can always refer to the list of available tokens to use the ticket or comment properties in your action. Find a full list of tokens in the documentation. In addition, you have an option to log trigger runs in the ticket history. When you open a ticket that has started the trigger execution, you will see a message about the trigger run in the ticket history. Once everything is ready, click Save and Close and test your trigger. As you can see, the assignee was set to our sales agent and the tag was changed to Sales. The information about the trigger run was also recorded in the ticket history. Help Desk triggers run sequentially. The sequence is defined by the order of the triggers. You can change the order of the triggers by simply dragging them in the list. Since it is more efficient to first assign tickets to agents and notify them afterwards, we will place the trigger we created first. You can also view the execution logs of your trigger and download them. You will find more information in the documentation. If you have any questions, feel free to ask the community or our support.